So hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So it's Sunday, kakagising ko lang. Tapos bukas na yung deadline para sa vlog. So yun nga, gagawin ko na yung vlog. Maliligo muna ako. Okay? Bye. A few moments later. So hi guys, insert ko lang daw habang in-edit ko yung video. Kung mapapansin nyo, medyo mahin na process ko tapos parang serious ako sa vlog. So kasi paggabas ko ng CR, pagkatapos ko malingo, ising na pala papa ko. So ayun, yun lang. Okay, bye. Poof. So hi guys. So now, so we're gonna have a breakfast with me featuring crystalline and amorphous solids. So ayun nga, wala akong mindset na content kaya we're gonna have a breakfast with me na lang. Tapos magdi-discuss ako about crystalline and amorphous solids. So, ano nga ba yung solids? Search ko muna. Sabi ng Google, solid is one of the four fundamental states of matter. The, mo the molecules in a solid are closely packed together and contain the least amount of kinetic energy. A solid is characterized by structural rigidity and resistance to a force applied to the surface. Okay, like. So there are two main classes of solids. These are the crystalline and amorphous solids. So before that, makain muna ako ng pen. 10 seconds later, So, crystalline solids. Crystalline solids, these are the most common type of solids. Their char characteristics are what we associate solids with. They are firm, hold a definite and fixed shape, are rigid and incompressible. They gener generally have geometric shapes and flat faces. Tapos, yung amorphous yung amorphous solids are rigid structures but they lack a well defined defined shape so rigid din siya pare parehas ng crystalline pero wala silang shape they do not have a geometric shape so they are non crystalline this is why they do not have edges like crystals do so, yun. That's the first difference ng crystalline and amorphous solids. So, examples of a crystalline solids are diamonds. Hindi siya sa ML diamonds. Diamonds. Tapos, metals, salts, and etc. Then, examples of an amorphous solids are glass, gels, plastics, Various polymers, wax, thin films, are and etc. So for the difference between crystalline, huh? So for the difference between crystalline and amorphous solids. Crystals have an orderly arrangement of their constituent particles. In comparison, amorphous solids have no such arrangement. Their particles are randomly organized. Crystals have a specific geometric shape with definite edges. Amorphous solids have no geometry in their shapes. Crystallines have a sharp melting point in which they will definitely melt. An amorphous solids will have a range of temperature over which it will melt but no definite temperature as such. Then, crystals have a long 
arrangement of their particles. This means the particles will show the same arrangement indefinitely. Amorphous solids have a short arrange order arrangement. Their particles show a lot of variety in their arrangement. Um, crystalline solids cleavage break along particle points and directions. Amorphous solids cleavage into uneven parts with rugged edges. And lastly, <clears throat> lastly, crystals are also known as true solids, whereas another, another name for amorphous solids is supercooled liquids. So that is all for the difference between crystalline and amorphous solids. Bye bye. Peace. Peace out. Peace out.